Yes, yes, this is a frontal. Stay tuned to see how I did this. We're going to use a 360 frontal, and this is how it looks. It covers the entire perimeter of the head. So, of course, we're going to customize it. We're going to start by bleaching the knots. And after you bleach the knots, you definitely want to make sure to shampoo it. I'm using my Invogue Me Hair Cream Shampoo. And I have a cream based shampoo so it helps to keep the moisture in while cleaning. Next you're going to condition the hair and then you're going to towel dry it. Now we're going to customize the hairline by doing a little plucking. So let's get ready to install. You're going to do your basic straight back braid pattern. And I have a small little net on the back because our back was a little shorter. So now you're going to want to try the frontal on your client to make sure that it actually fits their head. Sometimes it can be a little big, but you definitely want to make sure it's not too small. So that's what I'm doing. And now you want to go ahead and just cut the lace around the sides and the back, but leave the front flap where it is. And as you can see, I'm just cutting the lace off around it. And this 360 frontal fits her head perfectly. So I'm just checking it out, making sure that everything looks good before we start sewing. And we're definitely going to start sewing um, the front first. So I'm going to ask my client to hold it down and we're going to just sew a stitch on each side as your client is holding it down as tight as they can. Sorry y'all, I was all up in the way. But yeah, you just sew down on each side, have them hold it. Okay, so now it's time to cut the lace off in the front as well now. you cut the front lace you want to go ahead and start sewing the back and the sides of the of the frontal down so I just basically do a little part and then I begin to sew and you want to check it periodically as you're sewing to make sure that everything is laying correctly and that you're satisfied with how it's looking so after you do that to the back, you want to do the exact same thing on both sides. Just part it and then begin to sew. So after you're done sewing and you're satisfied, this is when you want to go ahead and sew down the middle portion of the frontal so now I'm just checking the frontal making sure there aren't any lumps and bumps in there making sure everything is straight and then to the best part, the baby hair. I just really love this part. So yeah, you go ahead and just slick those baby hairs down. And again, I'm checking, I'm a perfectionist, so I'm just making sure that everything looks okay. And so, yeah, I do all of the little frontal customization before I go ahead and sew the bundles down. So you're going to do your typical flip over method, blah, blah, boring. Let's skip to the end. <laughs> and 
And again, after sewing all the bundles in, I am checking, making sure that all of the parts have no like lumps and bumps. Ooh, look, you can braid your frontal and this is no glue, ladies. Like you can still get the same looks without glue. Like, look at that braid. Up oh, and another braid. I'm just brushing it out so I can show you guys the ponytail everyone always wants to do their ponytail and their buns so here you go ladies just let the client play in it so they can get you know you you guys can really just see that natural hand motion and to see that it's really in there without glue